In this video, I'm going to talk about eight Python functions that every Python programmer need to master. So let's start. So as you can see inside this folder, I have some folders and also I have some files. And here in Python, I'm saying I want to import OS, I mean, operating system. And here we are defining a variable called root path. And this is the path of that folder. But here's the first question. Suppose that we want to get the names of all the files, not folders inside this path. So how should we do this? In order to do so, that's very easy. We can simply type os.walk and we should pass the path, which in this case is the root path variable. That's it. And remember that os.walk means that we are going to walk into this path. You are going to go into this path and find all the files, folders, and subfolders, and these kinds of things. And I want to convert this into a list. So I pass to this list function because I want to convert it to a list. And here, because I want to work, I want to find all this stuff inside this main path and not inside those subfolders. What do I mean by subfolder? I mean, for example, if you open this folder, you can see there are some other files and folders inside this folder, but I don't want to work with those files. I want to work with files and folders folders inside this main path. Because I want to work with this main path, I should pass zero. And after that, because I want to work with files, not folders, I should pass two. So by doing this, I'm going to access all the files inside this root path variable. And after that, I store the results in a variable, let's say called file names that's it and now if i print the file names variable and if i run the code you can see here are the file names which you can see here as well and now suppose that we want to find the full path i mean the absolute path of each of these files so how should we do this so that's very easy we can simply do this we can simply tap for every file name in these file names. So here I simply type os.path. It means that from this operating system, I'm going to use this path module, this path section. And after that, I'm going to use join because I want to join two stuff. First of all, I want to join the root path. And after that, I want to join the file name. And I want to store the results in a variable, let's say call path. Now, if I print the path variable, and let's print something like this for a kind of divider. And now if I run the code, you can see here we have a two paths. Number one is the path of our first file. And this is the path name of our second file. So as you can see, this is the absolute path, or let's say the full path of each of those files. But now let's talk about another question. And for example, suppose that I want to get the extension of these files, because as you can see, this is the file name of the first file. This is the file name of the second file. And now suppose that we want to split the extension from the file name. So how should we do so? So once again, it's very easy. You can simply type os.path.split text. And after that, we should pass the file name variable. And after that, it is going to return two things. Number one is the base. And the second one is the extension. So now if I print the base and also if I print the extension, now let's print something like this for a kind of divider. And if I run the code, you can see for the first one, this is the file name and this is the extension. And for the second one, this is the file name and this is the extension. Okay, now this is another question. Let's suppose that inside this folder, we want to create another folder called output. So how should we do so? That's very easy. We can simply type OS dot mk dir it means make directory it means that we want to make we want to create a directory or let's say folder and then we should pass the path of that folder so that's very easy we can simply type os.path dot join and we should pass the root path because you want to create the folder inside this root path and then we should pass uh, the name of the folder which we want which we want to create and for example let's suppose that the name of that folder is going to be output so now if i run the code and now if i go to that folder you can see we have created a folder called 
output. So that's it. So here is another question. Suppose that I want to copy all of these files and paste them into this output folder. So how should we do so? So for doing so, I should import a package in Python called shuttle. And remember that it should install this package using pip install pytest dash shuttle so that's it i should import the shuttle package and now because i want to do this copying process for all of the files so i want to use a for loop so i simply type for every file name in these file names as you can see this is the file names variable so for every file name in file names so now for copying i should simply type shuttle dot copy to and remember that it should be copy to function and then if i press Control p on pycharm you can see the first argument is source and the second argument is destination so the first argument is the source i mean the source file so let's define a variable called src i mean source and the source file is going to be os.path.join and I want to join the root path and also the file name. Because I want to get a better sense of this SRC variable, I want to print this variable, I mean this SRC variable. And now if I run the code, you can see we have two files. This is the first file and this is the second file. And now we want to define another variable, DST, I mean destination, which is again going to be, which again is going to be os.path dot join and it is going to be the root path but we want to put it in the output folder because as you can see here we have an output folder that's it and then after that we want to have the file name as well and once again because i want to get a better sense of this dst variable i mean destination variable i want to a print that as well so if i run the code you can see here we have those files but inside this output folder so actually this is the source and this is the destination so now we simply type shuttle dot copy to and we want to copy from source to this destination so actually for each of these files we are copying from the source to this destination. So now if I run the code, and if I go to this folder, and if I go to the output folder, you can see we have copied and pasted those files inside this folder. And now let's talk about another thing. Suppose that we want to create another folder called output2. And after that, we want to cut, not copy, we want to cut all the files inside this output folder, and we want to paste them into that output to folder, which we are going to create. So the question is, how should we do so? So as I've told you, I said, I want to create a folder called output to. So that's very easy. I simply type os.mkdir, and I simply type os.path, dot join and i want to create that that folder inside the root path and i want to name that folder output output two so that's it so in this line we are going to create that folder but now in this time we want to get all the files inside the output folder so in this case i should change this one as well so i should simply type os.path dot join i want to join the root path and also the output folder because i want to access i want to get all the files inside that output folder and here we are actually looping through each of those files inside that output folder and also we should change the source variable and also the destination variable so in order to do so first of all rem remember that the destination is going to be output to not output and now the source is going to be the output folder so that's it and now instead of copy to we should use the move function so now if i run the code and if i open this you can see we have created a folder called output two which you can see we have these files and now if i go to output folder you can see we have cut those files from this folder into 
this folder and here is another question let's suppose that we want to delete this folder and also this folder how should we do so so for doing so we should simply type shuttle.rm tree it means remove tree it means remove a folder and now we should pass the path of that folder which in this case the first folder is going to be the output folder so in order to pass the path of that folder i should simply type os.path.join and i want to join the root path and also the output folder so that's it and also i want to remove the output to folder as well so if i run a code and if I open this, you can see we have deleted those folders. And here is another question. Let's suppose that we want to delete all files, not folders, inside this root path. So how should we do so? So that's very easy. We simply type for every file name in file names. I want to remove each file. So I simply type os.remove because I want to remove each of those files and then i should pass the path of each of those files which i should simply use os.path.join and i want to join the root path and also the file name and now if i run the code and if i open this you can see we have deleted those files as well by the way on this channel i publish short and to the point tutorials like this one about python so if you're willing i suggest subscribing to the channel so you don't miss similar videos thank you for watching and see you in the next video